ain't about to be doing this all over this record. Just let me do what I'm doing. I got this. Okay. She's such a baby. That's how you made me. She drives me crazy. But we won't know. We were meant to be. Sometimes she acts up. You never shut huh. up. Some oh. days things get rough. But we both know we were meant to be. Like you got a problem with that? No, I'm just saying. From anniversaries, fighting World War Three. As long as it's you and me, we were meant. Girl, you know you love being with me. We were meant. <laughs> yeah, okay, if you say so. <laughs> we were meant. We were meant to be. What are we about to talk about? Well. Hi guys! Hey guys, it's Gerald and Tammy Hatton here. I'm Tammy and this is Gerald in case you were confused about who's who. So it, I just noticed the cat. It's um... I ain't got my hair on. It's Val- Y'all hear what my hair. It's Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's Day 2020. Yes. And so we wanted to do a video and we're gonna um, ask some questions and answer some questions. Like 20 questions I think yeah. it is. How did you know you loved me? Well, I don't know if that's one of the questions. That's one of the questions I have. I don't know. I just knew. You just knew? I just knew. Did when did you know you loved me? I knew you some years before, but I think the minute... Shortly after I took you home on a Friday, probably by that Sunday, I was in love with you. But listen. Do you still love me? Girl, stop. That's a question. Yes, I still love you. Are you still in love with me? Yes, I'm still in love with you. Would you trade me for the world? No. <laughs> I'm not asking you that question. Would you trade me if somebody said I got $5 million cash right now? If I wouldn't trade you for the world, why would I trade you for $5 million? Technically, it's more than $5 million in the world. That's deep. Well, what if we was arguing that day and somebody hit you with the proposal right after the argument? What does arguing mean? That doesn't mean I don't love you. It just means you're stupid. Oh. Uh, mm -mm. No, I already know what this is. Kiss me, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so, this is like our 30th Valentine's Day together. You're old, Tammy. He started dating me when I was but a child. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our 30th Valentine's Day together. Uh-huh. And we're so married. Married. And so comfortable. Comfortable. Until I think like our ideal thing is like, so what you want to do Valentine's Day? Let's climb Chill. in the bed and eat some keto ice cream and watch. Listen, that's a night. You hear me? A million little things. Ooh. That's a night. Don't get no bad. And pray none of the kids ask us nothing. Listen. Winning. Or walking in on something happening. Listen. Okay, so we're gonna do is 20 questions. And okay. we're gonna answer them and maybe you guys get to know a little bit more it, about is it. Is there a right or wrong answer? No, not okay. at all. Okay. Just check. Just I'm trying to get my mind conditioned to know if I, I may mess up. Like ask your favorite color, which we know is black. Yeah, that's one of my favorite colors. What's your other one? You tell me. Purple. Yes! You're good. Okay, so number one. If you could change only one thing in- But wait a minute. If purple was your favorite color, how can we never wear purple? I did. I went through a phase with a purple hair, purple lipstick. I went through a purple phase. I don't wear, know that I like purple clothes. You wear a lot of black. Yeah, I don't know that I like purple clothes, but I liked my hair purple and I liked- at a time, and I still do wear purple, purple lipstick sometimes. I've never had my nails purple. Exactly. Well, you had them. Um, um, uh, what's hot that? pink is not purple. Not hot pink. Um, Magenta. Lavender. Lavender. That's not purple though. Okay. Um, if you could change only only one thing in your life, what would that be, and why? Yeesh. If I could change one thing. Only one thing in your life. Marrying you sooner. You thought that's what I was gonna say. That's, what that's not say. what I thought you were gonna you say. You would have married me sooner? 
I would have married you sooner. Knowing what we know, Gerald. No, Gerald. We no, we are all right now. I would have married you sooner. Gerald, I was gonna say the same thing. You lie. I swear to God. <laughs> I, I swear to God. I would have married you sooner. I would have had probably uh two more kids with you. So we'd have had five. Are you sure? Yeah, so we had little girl. I wanted, I wanted a little girl. It was cute when they was little and cute, but they, these boys is trouble. Yeah, but I want a little girl. So we we I went back. But what if I we had five earlier. boys? Because we have four boys. That's true. So what if we had had five boys? Then we we went for six. It's too much for me. But God. It's too much. Okay, two. In a regular day, what do you find yourself thinking about the most? Bedtime. <laughs> Sleepy time. And sweet, sweet. This is so bad. Food. You do? I'm like obsessed with food, but probably in a negative way. Because I've lost so much weight, I try to not wait to the last minute to eat something. That's why you always run around going, I don't do that. That's what you do. Yeah, don't you do <laughs> I was thinking about food. <laughs> but I don't oh want to wait until the last minute because then you mess up. So I'm constantly thinking like, okay. Like, because when I was just coming downstairs, I was like, what are we going to eat? <laughs> you serious? Yes, it's Jeez, so bad. That's a spirit. If you could write a song about your life, what type of music would you use? I'm confused. House music. Because <laughs> my life moves like this. You finished? Yeah. <laughs> Mine would definitely be easy listening. I'm a quiet storm kind of girl. Baby face type music. Your bathtub. Would yeah. Be I know what you yeah. mean. I know would be boring. Yeah. Anyway. What things in your life bring you the greatest pleasure? Making Tammy happy. Putting a smile on her face. Like now. Go. See? My bed, my bath, my boys. And my boo. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. What do you feel is your greatest accomplishment in your life? Did other people help to make that happen? Did other people help to make, help to make it happen? What's your greatest accomplishment in your life? And did anybody else help? Greatest accomplishment in my life is making it to 47 years old. That's the greatest accomplishment. That's a good one. That's the greatest accomplishment in my life. And yes, other people helped to get me here. Um, a whole bunch. You, my parents, uh, my children. Um, especially, I, I like to shout out God right now who shout let me live this long and going to give me another 47. At least. Get another 47. But seriously, yeah. 47, like being here because there's a lot of people that didn't make it. Yeah. You know, so. A lot of people. That's my greatest accomplishment. My greatest accomplishment, I think is my family. We are jacked up. <laughs> we are messed we up. We are messed up. Like, it's chaos. It is organized Do you mean your, you mean your household or you mean your family? Your whole family? I mean, the, no, the ones in this house. Okay. With our oldest son that's still in California. The yeah. five of us, Gerald, Tammy, Austin, Little Gerald, and Blair, Blair. jacked up. But we are like organized noise. It works. It works. It's just us. Greatest accomplishment yeah. ever. Wow, that's dope. Okay, so my phone closed. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Um, in what settings are you the happiest, eager, or most comfortable? Home. Home. Here at home or in my studio space. Um, yeah. Um, I'm definitely the most happy at home and um, in my bathroom, bathtub area. But I also, because I like to travel, um, a, a good, listen to me, a good hotel room brings me great joy. Good. Like well, a really... Good, well, good room service. Good, a good, like it just a good room. Name that hotel. It's, it's too many to name. But it's... it's you, a, don't have, you don't have a favorite? No, I don't. There, it, it, it depends on how I feel and what I want. Um, mm -hmm. What things do you look forward to each day? Waking up to Get Tammy. Get it back in the bed. <laughs> Waking up to Tammy. Um, telling me what to do. Okay, literally. Running my life. Let's see how well you know me. 
No, but I, I look forward what to have it. I said to you is my favorite time of day. Bedtime. Oh, oh, in the bed, watching movies. Right. Watching TV. I look forward to when he is settling down for the day because that means he's coming to bed. We're getting in the bed. That's when we have the best conversations. To watch, to laugh. watch her shows. So, no, no, no. Then we battle because I'm watching TV. He's watching videos on his phone. And I'll pause and like, that's just so rude. rude. So rude. Or but vice versa, headphones. she's on her computer but I'll put while I'm watching TV. But I'll put headphones on. You just blast it out like ain't nobody watching nothing. Next question. But after what happened today, I'm not going to bother you about how loud you have stuff. What happened today? That you couldn't hear the bugs outside. What? Yeah. What? You gotta get your ears checked. For real, I couldn't hear it. Um, if you had three wishes that would come true, what would they be? <sighs> you go first. For my children to live long, happy, healthy, prosperous lives. Okay. Um... For my life to have been a great example of what Jesus can do for a person and cause others to want to know Jesus. What was the question again? If I had three wishes. And when the day comes that one of our time is up, that we could start all over again. Together. Together. Wow. Yeah. I would wish fear off of your mom. Because she's so fearful she won't get on a plane or just get in the car and come visit us. So I would wish fear off her, her mom. I would wish for Justin to be back, our baby boy. Uh, to have him, have him with us. So to be all for the boys. And then I would wish for the um, endless amount of money so I can do the things I always wanted to do in places. She always want to go that I can only like maybe take her one place, but then she need to go another place or another place. Another. We can just like take a year and be like, all right, we just take and tell me everywhere she want to go oh, wow. and do what she want to do. And her mom can go. My mom can go. Her dad can go. My dad can go. And our kids can go. That would be my wish. My three wishes. Okay. What other things would you want to change now and why? I would change my hair. I would really want it to grow back. Okay. Question. You can get. A hair transplant. Are you answering? No, I would want to just keep my own natural it's hair. It's your own natural No, hair? I wouldn't want to go through a surgery. I wish my hair was back like it was in the 90s, early 90s. So I just cut it. Okay. I mean, put it in high top. Got Maybe. you. I wish that for me, weight was not a problem. I don't have to be Kim Kardashian. I don't have to be Beyonce. I just wish that um, I didn't look at a donut and gain five pounds. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I wish. And also, I'm going to take another one. I wish that my kids would do everything I tell them to do, how I tell them to do it. When I tell them to do it. It would be less trouble around here. Right? That would be good. That would be really good, right? Right. Um, what major regret do you have so far in your life, and is it too late to change it? I don't think I have any regrets. Not that I can think of. I don't have any major regrets either. But I'm fearful of having regrets. That, yeah. I'm, I'm afraid of having regrets. I don't want to have regrets. Even though I think I may. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it might be inevitable. You, you know. But I don't want to look back. Here's what I'm saying. If I have a regret, I want it to be because it was something I tried and just wasn't able to do. I don't want to have regrets over something I never attempted, never went after, never. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, I don't want those kind of regrets. Um, and no, it's not too late to change it to, to go late. for whatever it is you want. Um, what would be okay? You have to answer this about me, I'm answering about you. What would be my ideal romantic day? Movies, no, listen, think ideal, it ain't even got to be something you can afford. But if it were my, if I could do anything, oh, what would it be? A, maybe a trip to Paris, dinner on, at the Eiffel Tower. Close, very close. You ready? Yes. Private jet to Paris, dinner 
where I can see the Eiffel Tower from my terrace. Balcony, balcony window. And the yeah. breakfast in the same place. Yes, that would be hers. That would be mine. Yours would be some ice cream and to be left alone. <laughs> no. Mine would be giving you that. You got I don't have a, I don't have an ideal. Nothing you want. I don't have an ideal place like my ideal place for for uh dinner. I took you once on the perfect date and you didn't even recognize it. Was it the perfect date for you or it the, perfect the perfect date for me? For you. Okay, what was it? I took you to see Roger Troutman. She did. And you fainted. I fainted. I missed the whole thing. Fainted person. for real, for real. And then he was like, when is he going to do more bounce? I said he did it while you were on the floor. I mean, on the floor fainted. That, that was so bad. <laughs> you fainted. Damn, it was Roger Trump. That was so bad. Um, okay, we're almost done. We're almost done. Is there a belief or attitude that seems to interfere with creating or pursuing a big dream? No. Not for me. No. No. What are a couple of things that you appreciate about our relationship and why do these things seem significant? Hmm. I appreciate that we make up fast Ooh. after our argument. Yes. What was that? Blair, slamming doors. Blair, what that you doing? That wasn't you? I'm in the fridge. Well, come here, come show the people you. Was that you? It's the fridge. Right, but I was saying, was that you or? What's that? Jesus. I was in the food. Okay. You gonna eat some of my um, Italian sausage stuff I made? Look at the refrigerator on top of uh, my cheesecake I made. All keto. All keto. So I, uh, I too appreciate that we make up easy. Uh huh. Um, I appreciate our friendship, and I, I appreciate our genuine love as a family. We like really, really love each other, like the boys and everything. You know. Yeah. Love you, Blair. Love you In what situations do you feel most afraid or insecure? I don't know. I'm an introvert. I'm always afraid and insecure. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm always uncomfortable and awkward and all that stuff. So, in every situation, you feel afraid and insecure. <laughs> but guess what? You my mama's child. It don't stop me. No. Come on now. She better Boom. ask somebody. It don't stop me. I still do what I got to do in these streets. Um, what would you like to do outdoors that you have not done before? Are there any extreme sports that you'd like to try? I don't do extreme sports. Me neither. I'm very fond of I'm all churchy. of my limbs. I'm very fond of my skull being completely intact. Right? Right. No broken bones, nothing like that. But as far as outdoor stuff, um, there's like this hike staircase thingy in uh, Hawaii. I'd like to do. I thought we went to that here. That no, no, not, not that one. This is like rainforesty looking. Oh, it wasn't that. I'd like to do that. Yeah. And then it might be in China. Gosh, it's called something like the the eye or the earth's eye. Or so it's just stare. It's gorgeous. I want to do it. And I would do the Great Wall of China. And then ride that thingy down. You wouldn't do it? Absolutely not. I'm good right here. What country would you like to visit that you haven't visited yet? Um, I can't think anywhere. That I would like to visit, like I just gotta go there. Maybe that um, the place where where's where's the place where the beds at? Where's all open? And she was like, "Oh my god, it's a lot of places like that." Was it near water? Yeah, because we don't really do water. We don't do water. We lived in LA for 15 years. We might have went to the beach. Three I don't times. have no place. I been. everywhere I've been, I've. I think I want to go to been. South Africa. I've been there. Uh, is this a, okay? I want to go to South Africa. Um, I want to go to, and they said countries, but I want to go to Paris. Been there. We're going to go to the next question if I get irritated. <laughs> but I want to go with you. What family member did you most admire when you were a child? My cousin Lisa. Because she could just sing, sing. Okay, um, who was yours? Uh, I'll probably say my cousin Charles. I knew you were going to say that. We're almost done. What activities did your mother and father do that you most wish they taught you? <laughs> what activities? My mother's a professional complainer. And, she and I learned what. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. To this day, mm. no, I don't. Mm. Mm. 
<laughs> Take me out of good. <laughs> I can't think. Uh, arguing, and I learned well. Uh, don't you say that you, that you most wish they'd have taught you? Oh, is it wish they taught me? Oh, that's I that I learned. I did, yeah, that we just picked up. Yeah, I can't think. I of can't that. think of that. Um, name three things that most excite your imagination when you imagine doing them. For me, traveling, experiencing new things. Yeah. What? Taking in the culture, the food, all of that stuff. I found out the other day. Well, she is back to that food. <laughs> You made it right back to that foodie. I found out the other day that I am a what was it called? Foodie. No. Oh, Want I have wanderlust. Yeah, wanderlust. Wanderlust. I say first of all, you ain't gonna be like, wandering or lust. I want to see things and experience things and touch and um, taste foods of other culture. Like I just, I could easily, when the kids are gone. Like sell the house and live different places for a month, like three months here, and then like literally all over the world. Wow, easy, still easy. What question about money or future spending do you find hard to ask? None. None. I want to know what's happening up in these streets. Come on now. Listen. Okay. What are your favorite things to spend money on? Me. He ain't lying. Her. No. Lies. Cars. Still him. Equipment. Him. Clothes for her. Not true. Her um her Botox. <laughs> <laughs> like a neutral. <laughs> so that's what we do? No. You ain't got Botox. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Hold on. I do have a rock eyebrow. Right. Which one of my eyebrows is rock? This one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who are you most, last question, who are you most envious of? I don't have a person I'm envious of. I'm envious of anybody that can eat a donut and not gain <laughs> <not getting away>. weight. <laughs> right. Or anybody that fits size 30. I'm envious two. of Kylie Jenner. Not looking how she started out. How does that happen? Wow. I'm envious that as a black woman, I don't have a butt. That's deep. That's truth, right? Isn't that true? You, 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 you got slices. Okay. I'm about to let y'all go. Well, let me tell you what this is about. What? He calls me slices instead of calling me apple bottom. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's not even slices because I said slices. You said no, no slice. slice. <laughs> Singular. She got a slice of a booty, <sighs> and it's perfect. It's my booty. Well, this has been the uh, the that, look the Valentine's no Valentine's <laughs> issue of the hands. Twenty questions. We made it. We made it. I think we only did nineteen. I think I skipped one. But, what was the last one? You forget. But no, no, no. It was like two of the same thing asked a different way. Would you marry me again if you had the opportunity to do it all or go back and choose again? Oh, okay. Would you marry me again? Yeah. Okay. That's easy. Would you marry me? Yeah, absolutely. I just saw myself grab that lantern off the wall, just <laughs> come across your face with it. But I, 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 I would marry you again. It just I would I would tweak some stuff. Like. Um. I would tweak how you roll with me. Just roll with me and don't fuss at me. You do stuff that could get us all in trouble. You're not a rule follower. I follow rules. Tell me if, tell me if I follow rules, we wouldn't be here right now. Mm. Huh? Why? Because people said we shouldn't be together. People said we shouldn't be here. Oh, who's but people? People say, people, people say, people say. People say it. Most that said it are home alone on this nice Valentine's <laughs> Day. Bug out. <laughs> Bug out. We love y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Subscribe. And uh, push your notification button yeah. so you know when we upload something new. Happy Valentine's Day.